Janet. Hi. Can I get you a cup of tea? Headache's part of the job. Starting to learn that. Do you uh, have anything interesting on foot? Does a mother killing her two sons count as interesting? Why do the women here get landed with the female killers? I mean, I know why, but why? You're on the Mervich case with Reese, aren't you? The bolt cutter babes? I've been having nightmares about it. Don't tell any of the boys that. I know. Why should having an emotional response to something be automatically regarded as weakness? Feel what you like outside and here you're paid to be objective. Doesn't it wear you down? That's what stops wearing you down. Look on it as self-preservation if it helps. Do you mind if I ask what was wrong with the woman in your filicide case? Depression. Wrong? Well, there's got to be something wrong with you if you kill your children. Do you think it's a crime against nature? Don't you? Not necessarily. People kill their kids for all sorts of reasons. Great. Well, I guess it's Medea's fault. She started it. Medea was framed by Euripides. Other sources of the time say that the children were killed by the good citizens of Corinth. Really? Can't believe everything you read. But was your defendant in her right mind? Should I ask her if there was a policeman standing at her elbow? A uh, policeman? It's a modification of the McNaughton test, which is? Oh, McNaughton's the basis for the common law defence of insanity. Says that it's not fair to hold a person responsible for acts he or she couldn't control or didn't recognise as wrong. Very good. <laughs> Where's the policeman's elbow fit in? Well, it poses the question. Would the defendant still have committed the crime if there were a policeman standing at her elbow? Erin, you busy? Yes. No, no, come in. How would you like to add another murdering woman to your workload? The one who killed her kids. Got it in one. To be honest, I'm not sure. Was it something I said? You said I needed to be objective. Objectively, I, I don't think my subjective responses are quite ready to tackle two of these things at the same time. Have I just blown my career out of the water? Oh, I appreciate your honesty. But remember, if one of the blokes ever offers you something like that, it might be prudent to take it. Come in. Oh. I'm heading home to a computer that gives me net access. Yes, I heard about that. You're welcome to use my computer anytime I'm not on it. Ah, thanks. I've been thinking about the overlap between your child killer and my bolt cutter women. Yes? Could it be argued that the battered woman syndrome attracts the McNaughton rule? They were so traumatised that they couldn't understand the act was wrong? I haven't heard it used like that, but I'd say it's arguable. Cool. Thanks. See you tomorrow. Oh, and thanks for offering me that case today. I really appreciate it. I did it for purely selfish motives. And thanks for the advice too, you know, about turning stuff down. You would have learned eventually. Well, thanks for the shortcut. <laughs> Are you okay? Should I call someone? No, no, it's fine. It'll pass. Oh, that's a bit melodramatic, wasn't it? Are you sure you're all right? I'm sorry. It's none of my business. I'll, I'll go home and leave you in peace. I'm on IVF. Oh, that sounds melodramatic too, doesn't it? Sorry, I just... I just don't want you walking out of here thinking I'm about to drop dead of cancer. Of course, now I've told you I'm going to have to kill you. Kind of silence. My turn to thank you. Do you need anything? Pain or pass. 
Sorry, this is way too much information, but you're here, I'm hormonal, and you cop it. So? What is it? Oh, it's just a more extreme version of the symptoms you get when you're ovulating. It's worse for me, though, because they're stimulating my ovaries to increase the number of follicles. Fun. That's one way of describing it. You've been doing it for long? I just started. I get to use this ghastly nasal spray thing. And this is kind of silent stuff. Of course. Oh, I don't know how you deal with all the shit in here. Years of practice. Now it sounds weird, but it just doesn't touch me at all. <laughs>